Madin Mazimba, I'm back again, and today I'll be sharing with you my views and thoughts on Sekalas' latest project titled Regets Norira. Now, Sekalas is undoubtedly a dancehall icon. He has played a vital role in, in ensuring that dancehall became a household name, that dancehall became the biggest genre in the whole nation. And one thing that he loves, you know, what he knows how to play the villain part. He does it very, very well. He's that antagonist that many love to hate. And he, his rise, you know, what the way he entered the music industry, going against Winky D, who at that moment and even up to now was deemed untouchable, provided provided the perfect entry, not for say colors. And then his beef with uh, Soldier Love in the 2010s, you know, what it pushed Danso to a level. That has never been uh, seen before. You know, those, when the Mbari trio entered, say colors, soldier love, uh, and killer T, dance clicked. It became, it, it, it went on now to become the biggest genre in the whole nation. And say colors played a very, very important part, you know, uh, in, the, in, in the rise, in the dominance of Zim Danso. And colors, like I've said, he loves to be, or he loves being the antagonist. And the release of this album also show, showcases that, you know, despite Winky D being loved by a lot of people, also, his EA Colors watch, he has a legion of fans. He chose to release his album on the same night on a venue which is also close by to where Winky was releasing. And you know what? You can see what he loves being the, the antagonist. He loves being that villain that a lot of people love to hate. Now, having said that, I have to say Colors is definitely the best reggae artist we have in Zimbabwe. He has proven that over and over again with his very superbly made uh, and, and, and well, very much well received reggae albums. And when he announced Kuti will be releasing a reggae album, a lot of people, you know, they got very, very excited and coupled with the fact that he was releasing it the same day with Winky D in a venue close, but you know, the hype, the excitement it got, uh, you know, what, even much, much bigger. Now, personally, I've enjoyed his past reggae projects, especially uh, the reggae love story. It is my favorite project from Sekalas. It's, it's an amazing, amazing project. You know, the execution, the vocals, everything about that project is just spot on. And I have to say that's definitely a fantastic uh, not piece of work. So going into this album, you know, I definitely wanted to see how it was going to fare. Was it going to be better uh, than Reggae Love Story? Was it going to be better than Reggae at 30? So I, I definitely got my copy when the album uh, was released and I've listened to it and today, I'll be sharing with you my views and thoughts on this album. Now, I have to say, having listened to this album for uh, over a week now, not Colors continues to cement his place as the biggest reggae artist in Zimbabwe, and he definitely delivered with this one. The production is done very well throughout the uh, throughout the, this whole project. The instrumentals are very much well executed. Uh, the producers that Colors worked with on this album, they understood the assignment and they delivered. And uh, Colors ma also managed to deliver a project that. Uh, those fans of Jamaican reggae and even those fans of uh, this local type of reggae will both enjoy because it's sort of it's a fusion of both uh, those styles and like I've said the execution is done very very well like for example if you take the track One Drop uh, it's very very long and it features over 15 artists and it's done sort of like that Jamaican way but it's also in a way whereby a lot of fans all those who are not Big fans of Jamaican reggae can also enjoy. Uh, you know, it feels like one of those very much long uh, medleys that a lot of people love from Jamaica. You know, the artists, all the artists that we chose, and they all performed very well. Uh, the the track is arranged, is produced very very well. You know, this is one way to do a collaboration. And for me, when I saw the list, good okay, there are more than fifteen people here. I was shocked, good, and I wanted, I was excited and anxious. I want to see good. How was it going to arrange all those uh, artists? It was done in a way whereby you get to enjoy the whole song. All 30 plus, 13 plus minutes of the song, you definitely get to enjoy them. Now, if you listen to this album, one thing that I have a suggestion that I have to give to Bosial is that he now has to employ a live band because this type of sound, this type of music, this type of vibe, it deserves a live band. So that is one thing that he must invest uh, you know, in uh, going forward and if he manages to get a live band and if, if they manage to really gel and become a solid unit, uh, you know, at his performance when it comes to reggae music will get even much, much higher. Now, the themes tackled uh, on this album, they're mainly on the love and relationship themes. Uh, not, uh, on the track in the Chema, he addressed what happened between him and his ex-wife. I know a lot of people are asking, Chichaka, what happened with Colors? Colors never really... Uh, Gave his side of the story, but he, he does it on this track, Nichichema. And you know what? It's a very a beautiful track. Don't Jandaida is sharing the state of mind uh, 
for a lot of Zimbos, the status quo, whereby you know what, the things that we wanted, the things that we hoped for, are not the things that we have right now. The job that you wanted and the job that you have, you know, what, they are not the same thing. So this is uh, something that a lot of Zimbos can relate to. Could the life that we wanted, uh, the life that we hoped for, is not the life uh, that we are living. So I'm saying, in terms of the themes, the themes they were done and they were tackled are uh, quite well. And on vocals, solid colors are solid throughout. Uh, he's definitely the best, one of the best vocalists in the genre, and he showed the and he showed it on this project. And the main artists that featured on uh, the track One Drop Murudo Murudo all did very very well. Like I've said, you know what? The execution was done very well. It's it's amazing to see all those artists coming together and all not performing. You you could feel they were all in one vibe, and that's uh one thing that I very much love about this track. So the the, the vocals I have to say they are solid uh, throughout this whole project. And now not to just end this uh summary review. Like I've said, this album came with a lot of expectations, and after listening to this album, I have to say it has met all of those expectations. I uh, loved his uh, reggae love story album, and I feel this one, Reggae's Norira, is at the same level. It's definitely impressive. So if you're a fan of good music, this project is for you. Uh, my favorite track on this album at the moment is the track ENDA. You know, I just love everything about that track. The production, the vocals, the structure of that track is done very, very well. It's a lovely Lovely tune is one of those tracks which is living rent free in my mind. Uh, not since the day I heard it, it's one of those songs that in my head, and I ended up and I end up singing to that song. So I highly recommend listening to this song. Uh, Colors definitely you not know, delivered with this album. It's a solid project. Now my overall rating for this project, I give it an eight out of ten. Now I know a lot of you have managed to listen to this album at the current moment. Uh, in the in Macombi. In many places, this album is now getting uh, a lot of airplay. So go in the comment section. Tell me what you think about this whole album. What, what's your favorite track on this whole album? And after that, come back, uh, like the video. Uh, you know what? Subscribe to the channel. See you again next time.